Good morning, welcome to Uganda. This starts our first day on safari. Uh, we got here yesterday about 5 a.m. Uh, and we're staying at the Pro T Hotel. Uh, it's this beautiful hotel right on Lake Victoria. So you get to watch the sunset and sunrise over the lake. And uh, you just kind of get to enjoy your time. Uh, we just spent the day taking varying lengths of naps uh, and enjoying um, our rest, restful day. We had a quick one-on-one -on -one with one of our guides and he was telling us about everything that we're gonna get to do throughout the trip. I'm not gonna spoil it all now, but it sounds really amazing. Today we're just heading to Ziwa, then we go up to Murchison Falls and we'll do some hiking up there and some exploring. And that's our, that'll be our day. So we'll see you out there. Ziwa Rhino Sanctuary seeks to reintroduce rhinos back into the wilds of Uganda. For nearly 20 years, they have bred almost 40 rhinos and built a beautiful and secure compound where you can stay and trek with rhinos, shoebills, and other animals. Alright, so we have made it to Twiga Safari Lodge. It's absolutely beautiful here. I'm whispering because it's already nighttime and uh, I don't really want to bother anybody else that's around. Um, but what's really cool about this place is that we are right on the River Nile. And about 30 feet from our door, there's a couple of hippos just grazing, which is incredible. That They're just that close to our room. Uh, but for the rest of the evening, we are going to head to bed. And tomorrow morning, we have an early morning game drive, so let's hope we get to see some lions. We'll see you out there. Take me 
back to the jungle to give a little recap of what we did yesterday. So yesterday morning we woke up for an early morning game drive and we made our way into Murchison Falls National Park to do our game drive and we saw you know giraffes, we saw a lot of like smaller animals. We did see elephants so when we went to go see the elephants we went down this road that was like very not traveled. You could just tell that just not a lot of people traveled that way. Apparently there was like a bridge that used to be in that that path and it broke and so I think since that bridge has broken people don't tend to go down that way. But we went down that way because we heard that there were elephants there and there were like we saw two pods of elephants and we got to like watch them and see them and then when we were trying to get out of that area there was this like dip when I say dip, I mean like huge dip in the road, right? <laughs> a huge dip in the road. So large safari pot, uh, truck plus large dip in the road just don't mix. So we went down and we got stuck. And our guide, Grace, was like amazing. He was like trying to get us out. He was like trying his might. He was doing everything he could to like get us out. And he just couldn't. And then another safari vehicle came down that way, luckily, and they tried to help and they couldn't get us out. So we had to like jump inside somebody else's safari truck of these people that we didn't know. Some random know. people. <laughs> Some random people that we didn't know. And we had to get into their truck and they took us back to our lodge. Very thankfully, they took us back to our lodge. And so we went on our boat tour and the whole time we were on our boat tour, we were like taking in all the sights and everything, but we were also just worried about our guide because as far as we were told by the time we got on our boat tour is that he was still out there trying to get the truck unstuck. And it's very, very hot. He's like in the middle of the national park with all these wild animals. And so it's just very concerning. And every, we were just like sitting there thinking like, please, 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 like as soon as we get, you know, off this boat tour, please let him be at the lodge or, you know, meeting us at the boat so that we make sure that he's safe. As we are arriving back to the lodge to like relax before dinner, um, he showed up. So the truck is out of the hole. Um, we asked him how it went and he said that basically they had to get some other people from different lodges to like come out there and help. But anyways, that's the recap of yesterday. Okay, bye!